You know, usually when we're talking about a new machine around here, that machine has been given the whole launch treatment, press release, press event, maybe even a trade show reveal, stuff like that. Today though, we are talking about a new machine that isn't technically new at all, but it does represent a new approach that Caterpillar is taking toward its dozer lineup and really a restructuring of the way that you as a customer, as a machine buyer should be approaching that lineup. What's going on everyone? I'm Wayne Grayson and you're watching Equipment World. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Cat D4, which used to be called the D6K2. And we're gonna be looking at the D4 through the lens of Cat's new machine nomenclature, the way that the company goes about naming its new models. And specifically, we're gonna be looking at how that change has led to an entire rethinking of the company's dozer lineup. So let's get into it. So as I said before, CAT is going about naming its machines in a different way. And really this effort started back in 2017. And the feeling within the company and really what the company was hearing from its customers as well is that model names at Caterpillar had gotten a little bit too complicated. The D6 Dozer size class was a perfect example of how kind of complicated and convoluted CAT model naming had become. At one point you could order a D6N, a D6T, a D6K2, and all three of those machines were very different, yet they all started with D6. And despite the letter modifiers after the D6, just about everyone who owned one called whatever machine they had simply a D6. And the trouble is that model names, especially in the context of a brochure or an overview of the lineup on a website, should really give you a quick at a glance understanding of how one machine compares to another machine within their lineup. And ultimately having multiple instances of multiple machines having different identities, but the same name essentially, just wasn't cutting it anymore. So three years ago, Cat started cleaning things up by removing the alphabet soup that had begun to accumulate within its model names. A year after Cat instituted this new way of naming its machines, the change came to the company's medium-sized dozer lineup. And the first machine to reflect this new way of naming machines was the new D6 and the new D6XE. And then last year, we saw the introduction of the new D5 that also goes by this new nomenclature and this year's introduction of the new D7. And as these new models model names bear out, D5, D6, D7, the Cat Dozer range is now being named in ascending order in terms of size class from smallest to largest. And there's no more letter modifiers, which means there's no more N's, K's, or T's to remember either. Specifically, the new D5 replaced the D6N, the new D6 and D6XE replaced the D6T, and the new D7 replaces the D7E and D7R models. But wait a second, if Cat says they're dropping letter modifiers from their new model names, what gives with the D6XE? Here's how Cat explains it, and here's why they're still using some letter modifiers. In the past, the letter modifiers have predominantly been used whenever Caterpillar offers more than one machine in one size class. With the new naming convention, that's out the window because each size class will only have one model to choose from. So what's the XE and D6XE all about? Well, Cat is still only offering one model in the D6 size class, the D6. The XE is not a new model. It is actually just a powertrain option. The XE signifies that that is a premium powertrain. In the case of the D6XE, that is an electric drive powertrain. Really quick, one more note on this XE modifier. The D6XE is not the only new machine from Caterpillar that has gotten this XE designation. Recently, Cat introduced its new 420 backhoe, and alongside it, they released a 420 XE. So on the D6XE, the XE does refer to that premium option of the electric drive powertrain, but it doesn't only refer to premium powertrains as I might've suggested uh, before there. The XC seems to be Caterpillar's new way of modifying a model name to denote a premium configuration in general. The D6 XC is not an entirely new model, it's just the D6 with premium options. In that case, it is a premium powertrain. The 420 XC is the 420 Batco uh, from a performance standpoint, but it has been equipped with premium options like the seat mounted controls and other kind of comfort and convenience features. 
Okay, it took us a while to get here, but what about the third of the three D6s that we mentioned earlier? Remember when we were talking about how confusing the model lineup was because we had a D6N, a D6K2, and a D6T? Well, we know that the D6N was replaced by the D5, the D6T was replaced by the D6 and the D6XE, but what about the D6K2? What machine is replacing that? Well, CAT has quietly rebadged the D6K2 as the D4. Now, as we said at the top, there really wasn't much fanfare or noise of any kind around this change. Cat didn't send out a press release. They didn't announce it. They didn't post about it on social media. Really, all they did was make a change to the website. On the website, the D6K2 is gone, and there's actually information about how they have changed the name from D6K2 to the D4. There's pictures of the machine with the new D4 badging and everything, and we only learned about the change when we were talking with our friend Sam Meeker, a product application specialist for Dozers at Caterpillar, and Sam tells us that the change was quietly made in the factory about a month ago, and every D6K2, or what used to be a D6K2 rolling off the line now, has now been badged with that new D4 sticker. And Sam tells us that Cat didn't have an announcement or a formal introduction of the new D4 because it's not actually a new machine at all. It's just the D6K2 with a new name that better fits into the new way that Cat is naming dozers. We did just change the D6K2. Uh, we literally pulled the old sticker off and put the new sticker on and changed that into the D4 with no, no new product introduction on that tractor. Um, and uh, one of the key reasons for that was because we wanted to, uh, we wanted to align with the small tractor side, uh, you know, the D1, D2, D3, and, uh, and make sure that we were kind of aligned with them and not having a D6K2 in the middle of the lineup there, so. Now, as Sam mentioned in that clip there, CAT has been working on replacing its smaller end of the lineup with a new D1, a D2, and a D3. And one of the things that Sam mentioned to us is that with those new models, the D6K2 would have looked kind of funny whenever you zoom out and take a look at the whole lineup because you basically, in terms of size class, the D6K2 would actually fall between the D3 and the new D5. So you would have had D1, D2, D3, D6K2, D5, D6, and D6XE, D7, and so on. That would have looked kind of funny. And that reminds me of another thing with these model name changes. The D4 is the first model name change to be made under this new nomenclature that comes without some kind of update or improvement to the machine it replaces. For instance, the D6 and D6XE were ground up reimaginings of the D6T. The new D5 is heavier and has more power than the D6N that it replaces. And the same goes for the D7 replacing the D7R and the D7E. But as Sam said, the D4 is literally just a rebadged D6K it has the same CAT C 4.4 engine and 130 horsepower rating as the D6K2. It has the same size and footprint, and it has the same operating weight of 29,258 pounds. Here's Sam discussing how the D4 stacks up in comparison to the D5, D6, and D7 dozers that CAT has recently introduced to the medium dozer lineup. Jump up into the D4. Now you're going to uh, 130 horse, 30,000 pounds, the D5 being... 170 horse, uh, 1,000 pounds roughly. The D6 then 215 horse, 50,000 pounds. D7, you know, 265 and uh, uh, 65,000 pounds, right? So you kind of see, Wayne, how we're just, we just kind of keep working our way up there in, in terms of, of that weight and horsepower and it gets us, you know, nice, Nice, a nice straight line as we're working through that small and medium, uh, medium lineup. Just kind of hammering home the point that this is literally a D6K2 with a different sticker on it. The D4 carries over the electrohydraulic controls that the D6K2 had, and it also has the exact same undercarriage, which was aimed at providing a smoother ride and better grading performance through eight bottom rollers and two carrier rollers. And that undercarriage is actually another interesting difference between the D4 and the rest of Cat's medium-sized dozer lineup. The D5, the D6, and the D7, when those new machines were released, they all came with high drive undercarriages. The D4 is now the lone medium-sized dozer in CAT's lineup with a low drive undercarriage. With the D4, you also get a variable pitch angle tilt blade, automatic traction control, an eco mode for increased fuel efficiency, and a standard rear view camera. The D4, of course, can also be spec'd out with CAT's grade machine control technologies, including CAT grade with slope assist, 
and Cat Grade with 3D. And these machine control upgrades also include Cat's new 10 inch touchscreen that it has created specifically for grade technology. So that's gonna wrap it up for us here on the new D4 and our discussion into the new way that Cat is not only naming its machines, but also how it's rethought the structure of its entire dozer lineup. But we wanna hear from you guys. Let us know what you think of the rebadging of the D6K2 to a D4. Obviously the D4 fits better with this new way that Cat is naming the machines. But uh, is there any kind of chance for confusion for current owners? What do you think of the new naming convention? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video and found the information in it useful in the research for your next machine purchase or rental, please do us a favor and hit the like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, trucks, and more, be sure to subscribe today and turn on notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time.